A thief makes off with several catalytic converters stalling a nonprofit's bus routes indefinitely. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Steve Hammond. Uh, those theft occurred sometime over the weekend at the Modern Maturity Center in Dover. That center is just west of downtown Dover near Redner's. WBOC's Cassie Simeon is there tonight. Cassie, staff at the center say it's unclear how long their fleet will be sidelined. Steve, the Modern Maturity Center says their buses service anywhere from 70 to 100 senior citizens on any given day, taking them from their homes to the center for programming. But those seniors today either had to stay home or find their own rides. This was the sound that greeted Maxie Moses when he got on his bus this morning to start his route. It felt like a tractor trailer cranking up. And I looked over and I was like, okay, sounds like a catalytic, a catalytic converter. Got over here and looked on the one and everybody else is the same way. So they got every last one of them. Catalytic converters are small, but carry a big price tag. The part, just the size of a toaster, includes precious metals such as palladium and rhodium. Thieves can get away with them in minutes and usually can sell them for scrap. For a nonprofit like Modern Maturity, it's a huge blow. We're just coming out of the pandemic, just building up the clientele that we can start bringing in. And now, of course, today, the whole fleet was shut down. So we only get paid if they come in to participate. So at the end of the month, we uh, bill for the for the services. So that'll be money that we won't recoup. Frederick says they will have a deductible for the seven buses, and it will be around $3,500 minimum to get the buses repaired, depending on whether or not they endured any other damage. Until then, the center could continue to lose money for its programs. As for how you can help if you're feeling generous and want to donate to get the fleet back up and running, you can contact the Modern Maturity Center directly. In Dover, Cassie Simeon, WBOC News, Delmarva's News Leader, Steve. All right, Cassie, thanks. According to Kelly Blue Book, nearly 26,000 catalytic converters were stolen across the U.S. in the first five months of 2021. Mechanics say the market for them exploded during the pandemic. They say thieves are targeting bigger vehicles to get more money for their haul. Catalytic converters, just like a lot of things, um, especially having precious metals inside of them, the market's going to fluctuate a lot per ounce. Um, so gold, some people are getting super excited when it's, I don't know, I'm going to say $10,000 an ounce or something. You're like, wow, super valuable. Some of the metals they put inside of converters can go upward to $30,000 an ounce. And that's something. By the way, Scotty Muffler Entire Center is helping by repairing the modern maturity fleet.